Welcome to Financial Investing Radio, where you'll learn the secrets for consistent, high probability returns in the financial markets for additional income to change your life. Grant applies consistent, high probability trading systems for the financial markets. He's only recently started sharing these tried and true market secrets. As a gift to listeners, Grant is offering his Roadmap to High Probability Financial Control. Go to FinancialInvestingRadio.com and download yours today. Now, here's your host and trading veteran, Grant Larson. Hey everybody, this is Grant. Welcome to another episode of Financial Investing Radio. So I, I've had this uh, opportunity recently to read a couple books and to attend a couple seminars where I was listening to people uh, put together their ideas or share their ideas on, on how to solve certain problems. What I find interesting in it is the, 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 as I blend those together like ingredients in a recipe, it starts to really benefit my own wealth building process. Here, let me, let me share this with you, okay? So starting right now, uh, you know, one of the things that we can do, right, a common theme of those uh, that I've seen that have built their financial foundation is, uh, you know, sometimes they'll think, oh, um, I have to have uh, all the money right away. I have to have it immediately. See, I recently read The One Minute Millionaire, right, where he lists what he calls ahas. So an aha is an epiphany of truth, right, and it applies to building your financial foundation. And where we may think the answer is, give me the money first, it turns out that what we have right now is sufficient to get started on our journey. All right, let me, let me talk about that. So, so there are three steps that I've seen in, in my own life, right? So the first is uh, three steps to build our wealth. And I, you know, I'll talk about what, what real wealth is, right? I'm sure we all have certainly some of our own ideas on what that is, but I'll, I'll share with you some of the things that it means to me. So first, there's three steps in building wealth, right? Build your financial foundation is certainly one of those. Two, grow your wealth strategy awareness. And three, apply those wealth strategies. Hmm, all right, so I wanna tell you something. I recently heard a talk on setting goals. What I liked about it is how it cascaded down from the top to the bottom. In other words, taking high level goals, right, at a year level and, and building out wealth goals, right, at, at a one year level and then breaking those down into quarterly goals and then breaking those down into monthly goals and then into weekly execution. And I, I like the way that it cascaded and, and, and fell down. The guy that uh, talked on this, his name is Alex Sharfin. Anyway, did, did a great job on it. So I'm sitting there and I'm looking at what the One Minute Millionaire talks about, what wealth is, right? And the, the categories of wealth, like, like your body, right? You have physical goals, right? Being wealthy is, you know, you got certain goals and you want to take care of the body that, that you've been given. The second is your brain, right? What are your intellectual goals around, around brain, right? The third is your being, right? What are your spiritual goals? And then the fourth is time uh, and how you organize it. And the fifth is people, and so your relationships. And then the last one is, is money. Lots of times when we think about wealth, we think, oh, just money. In reality, wealth is a balance of physical, spiritual, relationships, money, service to others, and other factors, right? So let's blend these together. Let's say that we took these ideas around what wealth is, such as from this book, One Minute Millionaire. It's a quick read. You got to listen or you, you got to pick it up. Um, so talk about, uh, you know, what, what wealth is and have a balance. And then you combine that with, I'd like to bring these things and make them actionable in my life. If you took a system like the one that Sharfin talked about, which is this cascading, as I thought through this, I thought, hey, I bet I could build a spreadsheet. So I did. I built a spreadsheet, right? And it, what it does is it puts in place this planning. It goes top down. So you put in place your one-year wealth goals. And, and it's in each of these categories, right? So you put those together. And, and then as you move through the spreadsheet, then you go to the next level down. And now you're working on your 90-day goals for each quarter of that year. But as you're doing it, as you're building out your 90-day goals, you see in front of you your one-year wealth goals in each of those areas, right? I might, want to, I might want to grow more spiritually, or I might want to grow more monetarily, or I might want to strengthen some relationships, or whatever that is, right? Your well-roundedness wealth goals, because that's really what we're talking about. 
All right, so as you build out those 90-day goals, now you drop down into the 30-day goals. And as you get to the 30-day goals, of course, you're looking at building out those goals in the context of your quarterly goals. And those goals are, of course, all in each of these uh, six or seven areas around true wealth, right? What I'm talking about, having that balance. So you're making these 30-day goals, and now comes the fun part. We want to execute, right? We want to be able to take those goals and make them applicable into our lives. We all know that we've, you know, each taken our turn at building and writing goals, and then sometimes something comes of it, other times it doesn't. Well, this spreadsheet takes you right down in to the execution each week. And guess what? It gives a reminder on each week you can see above you. All right, here's my monthly goals in each of these areas. So I'm going to pick from each of these areas uh, for this week that I'm going to work on and report on. And you know one of the powerful parts of it? It's to get an accountability partner. Get someone that you can be reporting back to and sharing with. So important to have a team of people or a good support of folks around us as we work on our goals. All right, so we each want to, now, you know, let me say it this way. Why are we doing this, right? Why do we take the time to do it? Well, I have been benefited so much by other people in my life that have done things for me. And I realize that the more I'm able to be self-reliant, the more I'm able to be able to take care of the things around myself the more I'm able to be in a position to help others. That's the real purpose of this, right? It's to be in a position to help other people in their aspirations and things they're trying to accomplish or to help them through difficult times. So there's a means to this end, right? It's just not for the purpose of just getting. That's not as happy of a life. That's not a wealthy life. A more wealthy life is let me put together uh, a strategy for building my own self-reliance so that I can be in a place where I can help other people to uh, benefit their lives. Boy, a lot more happiness and joy comes out of that. So we each want to grow our ability to give to others. So we not only set goals to do this, but also track our goals, right, down into executable steps. So to do that, one, we're going to build our financial foundation. Two, we're going to grow our wealth strategy awareness in each of these areas, right? And we may need to be more educated on what does it mean uh, to be more successful with our intellectual goals or our physical goals or our relationship goals or our financial goals. So we've got to grow that. And then three, we apply those wealth strategies in each of these areas. Hey, let me know. If you want the spreadsheet, reach out to me at grant at financialinvestingsecrets.com. Soon I'll be making it available as part of my courses. I have a series of courses on financialinvestingsecrets.com. Uh, go uh, opt in there. Let me know that you're interested. Thanks for joining. Until next time, get serious about putting your wealth goals into action to grow your ability to help others. Thank you for joining Grant on Financial Investing Radio. Remember to subscribe and leave feedback. Don't forget to download your free roadmap to high probability financial control before you make an investment decision. Visit financialinvestingradio.com now.